we have a great question from Lou Ann in Idaho who asks, what is dabbing? Ooh, this is a can <laughs> of worms. <laughs> okay, so dabbing, it's been called the dabbing revolution. Um, it's extraordinarily popular. Dabs. dabs. <laughs> <laughs> So it's very controversial, and we're, we're going to dive into why it's controversial. But um, let me say, there's a lot of th trends come and go with cannabis. I have never seen anything like the, the dabbing trend, and that's why they call it the dabbing revolution. Um, particularly in California, it, like, it has just knocked flowers off the shelf for a lot of connoisseurs. And I kind of put myself in that category of, so I love dabbing, and I know you love dabbing. And it's... <laughs> And now, when, I, when we say we love dabbing, that doesn't mean we love all dabs, because dabs are not created equal, and the, a lot of dabs are made using very unsafe methods, and those dabs are disgusting and are to be avoided at all costs. But when done properly, it's a very pleasant um, new thing. So let's, okay, let's back up and say, what, what the hell are we even talking about? So dabbing is the combination of two new technologies. And I say new because this, you know, we've rec this has recently become a thing, but there's no reason this couldn't have been done hundreds of years ago. Um, what, so first of all, the substance that we're talking about is basically a refined type of hash. Well, we've just gotten better at making concentrates that have more, that have purer and purer substances with them. Now, what we're talking about is getting rid of everything but the cannabinoids. So no more chlorophyll, less cuticle wax, Everything that would normally combust, we get rid of, and we're left with a substance that's often nearly clear. It might have a yellowish hue to it or something, but it's, you know, it's virtually clear, and it, you know, they, they, it gets called wax or shatter, and, you know, it's a dabbable material. Now, the, the second part of that technology is we're superheating it. Now, normally when we talk about vaporizers, that, that means using a machine to heat up the cannabis to a point where the oils go in, they vaporize, they go into the air, but the cannabis doesn't combust. Now, a true vaporization happens at much higher temperatures. And when you dab, you, you have this titanium bowl called a nail, and you heat it up with a blowtorch. And so you look like a crack it, because you've got this little bong and a blowtorch, and it's all bad looking. But that titanium nail heats up to a thousand degrees. It gets really, really hot, so it's glowing red hot. And then you take the super refined shatter or wax, and it's called dabbing because you just dab a little bit onto that titanium nail, and it makes this one gasp of smoke that it make you, you breathe it in and you cough really deep, but it's actually like a weirdly pleasant experience coughing like that. It's like this weird cleansing, and then you're really high, and it's it's a it's a different high, and it's like it almost feels like we discovered a new drug, but it's still cannabis, and it's perfectly safe when done properly. And like very very often when people first try it, they have what, you know gets jokingly called a near death experience, where they're like way higher than they've ever been. There's like we started a photo collage of people just on the floor, like way too high, but. They, you know, very often you, you try dabbing and you never go back. It is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, it, your eyes don't turn red necessarily. You're, you're much more awake. You're up, you're, you know, you're very high, but it's a very pleasant, easy high that most people find much more pleasurable than traditional ways of consuming cannabis, and I love it. Now, I don't smell like smoke either. Totally. Like places, like, you can do a dab and, like, go into a store, not that that matters, not yeah. you have stoners, but, you know, people aren't like, oh my god, you reek of weed. Totally, <laughs> and, and it's a nice taste. Yeah. It just, it's, it's pleasant on a lot of different levels, and so, you know, now... People, a lot of people hate on dabbers, and one of the issues is that most dabs are made using butane, and often the butane has contaminants already in it, or even if you source a clean butane, if you don't properly vacuum purge it, which most people don't, it's really bad for you. It can cause blindness. People also keep blowing up their houses in the process of making yeah, it. Yeah, that was been, a big problem in Michigan. A lot of, yeah. Like every day there'd be a new, like... A yeah. lot of houses blow up, a lot of people are getting themselves killed, and it's like it's ridiculously bad optics, and you know, you see all these kids hovering over their, you know, with their blowtorches, and it's just, it looks super, super bad, but 
the you know just because people are being a bunch of dumbasses and blowing themselves up and using the wrong materials does not mean that dabbing is inherently bad you can make dabs using water hash there's a bunch of different refining processes that can be done organically you can use supercritical co2 there you can use ethanol there's a lot of different ways to make a dabbing material that is not you know it does not involve butane does not involve a lot of you know nasty chemicals and risks of explosion but does produce this highly refined oil. And, you know, the process of superheating it isn't inherently bad. It might look bad to be holding a blowtorch, but there's nothing inherently bad about that. You can buy good-looking blowtorches. Yeah, absolutely. And, there, you know, <laughs> you we're going to do some segments on, on all these glass blowers that are yeah. making some beautiful art yeah. out of these dabbing rigs. But that's another, you know, positive <laughs> aspect of the glass industry. And it's, I don't know, I see a lot of good in it. And, you know, with... With anything in culture, you know, it's very common that the older generations kind of look at some new things that the young people are doing and look down at it and talk shit on it. But it's like the fact that almost everybody that tries dabbing loves it and never goes back says something about it. It's, you know, there's something good there. And the, you know, one of the criticisms you hear a lot is this, it spikes people's tolerance because you're ingesting higher and higher levels of cannabinoids. Now... If you have, I see that as a serious medical implication as like a positive one that mm -hmm. if you're, you know, if you're fighting cancer or epilepsy or something, you know, a serious condition, be, you know, a, a method of ingesting large amounts of cannabinoids is desirable. And there's, you know, dabbing has a lot of really good medical applications. And I don't know, I see it as a good thing yeah. and we both really enjoy it. And that's yeah. something so that's <laughs> dabbing. <you>. Yeah. <laughs>